I'm in Windows 11 and Hyper-V. Now I want to add in more processors. So if we go into client, for instance, and we go into settings, which is one of the virtual machines on this computer, then I can go to where it says processors. Now I'm already using four virtual processors. So how many processors do I have that I can actually use? So I'm going to go into task manager. And in task manager, I'll go to performance and then I'll go to CPU. We see sockets, cores, and processors. Now I can use as many logical processors as I'd like for virtual processors. So there's a correlation between logical processors and virtuals. So I can use up to 16 for a virtual machine. Now can I use 16 on one and 16 on another? The answer is yes. It's not like RAM where if you assign RAM to a virtual machine you can't assign it anywhere else. With processors you can make it as many as you have for logical processors and you can assign that over and over and over and what's going to happen is is it's not always using all 16 processors it's probably only using two or four you know maybe six and uh, so you're never going to be worrying about having the processors being all used up so the other virtual machines can't use them so i'd recommend you use as many as the virtual machine can handle just go ahead and click apply click ok and you'll see when you have those all running at the same time, you're not still going to be pegging the processor very much. And that's because it's just not always using all of them at the same time. But if it needs them, it's going to have them there. So that's how we add more processors to our virtual machines in Hyper-V.